welcome to analog techie today in this video i am going to explain you how we can do a division of unsigned integer using restoring algorithm so we can see here this is an algorithm written so if we can see the algorithm that is we have to start then n is the number of bits m is the divisor q is the dividend and a is the accumulator which has been assigned with value 0 so these are the four things you need to calculate first whenever you take a two number to be divided so for example here uh, it has given 11 divided by 3 so if we are dividing 11 by 3 we will get 3 as a quotient and 2 as a remainder so this is dividend and this is the divisor now moving on to this algorithm after this we have to shift left a q whatever the value is registered in a and q we have to shift one bit left and then perform a minus m operation after that we have to check the first bit of the a n register the first bit of the n register whether it is 0 or 1 if it is 0 you have to assign q n as 1 and if it is 1 we have to assign q n means the value of q n last bit register as 0 and again restore the value of a so it is known as restoring algorithm after op performing these two operations we have to reduce the number of bits by 1 and check whether these bits is 0 or not if it is 0 then you can directly find out the question in q and the remainder in a and if it is not 0 then we have to perform the same operation again by shifting left a q so you can see uh, this is the direction of the flow chart we have to go again to the starting point and perform these operations again so uh, let's see with an example that how we can perform this multiplication of an unsigned integer using restoring algorithm so here i have taken a two number that is 11 divided by 3 so 11 is a dividend and 3 is a divisor so uh, we can see here i have taken one example 11 is dividend and 3 is a divisor after dividing this we get 3 as a quotient and 2 as a remainder so here m the value of m is 3 because m is a divisor so m is 3 so if we convert it into binary number we can check it as 0 0 0 1 1 so this is 3 now if want if we want to represent a minus m so for minus m we just need to take the 2's complement of this 3 so if 3 is written as 0 0 0 1 1 so if we take 1's complement so it comes out to be 1 1 1 0 0 and for 2's complement it will just add 1 here so it will give 1 1 1 0 and 1 so this is the representation of minus m so that is written here minus m a number of uh, bits we can check or take depending upon the inputs which we have taken so here to represent a 11 only 4 bit is sufficient so we have taken the number of bits as 4 so now we take the tracing table so that the division operation can be performed according to this algorithm so you can check from this tracing table this is first column is n second is capital m third is a that is accumulator and fourth is q that is dividend and whatever the operation which we are performing we can just write it here so that we can understand easily so let's do uh, the tracing and we will find how the division is calculated now you can see m the value of m is 3 
सो वी हैव रिटर्न इन बिट फॉर्म जीरो 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 वन एंड एन इज नंबर ऑफ बिट्स वी हैव टेकन इज फोर सिंस इलेवन कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ फोर बिट्स एंड ए इज द अकोमलेटर इनिशियली वी हैव इनिशलाइज विद अकोमलेटर वैल्यू जीरो यू कैन सी हेयर इन द एलोगरिथम एंड क्यू इज द डिविडेंट सो वी हैव रिटर्न डिविडेंट एज इलेवन सो बाई कन्वर्टिंग दिस वन जीरो वन वन इज एन इलेवन सो इफ यू कन्वर्ट इलेवन इन टू बाइनरी नंबर इट कम्स आउट टू बी वन जीरो वन वन वी कैन डायरेक्टली टेक टू रिस्ट पावर जीरो टू रिस्ट पावर वन टू टू रिस्ट पावर टू एंड टू रिस्ट पावर थ्री सो दिस इज एट प्लस दिस वन इज टू प्लस वन सो दिस कम्स आउट टू बी इलेवन सो दिस इज द बाइनरी कन्वर्जन ऑफ इलेवन क्यू सो दिस स्टेप विच वी हैव परफॉर्म इज इनिशलाइजेशन नाउ दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप नाउ दिस इज द इनिशलाइजेशन हैज बीन ओवर सो यू कैन चेक इन द फ्लो चार्ट आफ्टर इनिशलाइजेशन वी हैव टू शिफ्ट लेफ्ट ए क्यू सो वट एवर द वैल्यू इज इन ए एंड क्यू वी हैव टू शिफ्ट लेफ्ट सो दिस इज एस एल ए क्यू शिफ्ट लेफ्ट ए क्यू सो वी हैव टू शिफ्ट दीज बिट्स दीज बिट्स by one bit left so you can see by shifting this operation we can obtain this value thus i have shifted one bit now what comes here in the last bit of q last bit of q since the first bit which we have shifted this bit is discarded so this bit we are no longer going to use it since it has already shifted so according to rule it is being discarded but what value comes at the end of q0 so for q0 we have to go to next step we have to perform first a equals to a minus m so what is the value of a a is right now 0 0 0 0 so we can write here a is 0 0 0 0 1 and minus m we have to perform minus m operation so minus m of m is 11101 you can see here minus m i have already written so it, if we perform 1 1 1 0 and 1 now if we add it that is a plus minus gives out a minus m okay so we are performing this operation so it will give 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 here 1 it will give 1 One and one, so it will give result one one one, one and zero. So you can see here we have written one 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 and zero. This this is operation of a minus m. Now still we don't know the last bit of q n, so we have written as it is. Now in the next step we have to check the first bit of a n. So the first bit of a n is here that is 1 first bit of an is 1 so if it is 1 what we have to do we have to assign q 0 equals to 0 so you can see here we have assign here at this bit q 0 as 0 so this operation has been performed here by assigning q 0 to 0 and restore the value of a it means whatever the value was here after shifting it we have to just restore it so again copy that value of a here so we have copied it and assign a q n to 0 now after this restoring we have to reduce n by 1 so you can see the value of n is 3 here and after that check whether n is 0 or not so since n is 3 it is not 0 we have to perform this operation again so again means whatever the value which we have obtained here we have to shift left aq so again we have to perform shift operation so just shift it by one bit here in this point so if we have shifted you can see this zero is here this zero is here this zero is here one is here and this zero is here again one is here one is here and zero is here but last bit we don't know what we have to add so in next step we have to perform a minus m again so a is as it is that is 0 0 0 1 0 -m minus m is 1 1 1 0 1 so if we just perform this operation a minus m we will get 
वन 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 एंड वन सो लेट्स डू इट दे वी हैव टू परफॉर्म दिस ऑपरेशन ए माइनस एम सो ए इज जीरो 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 वन जीरो सो वी कैन राइट जीरो 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 वन जीरो एंड माइनस एम इज वन 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 जीरो वन सो वन 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 जीरो वन सो दिस इज ए प्लस ऑफ माइनस एम इट गिम्स गिव्स आउट टू बी वन 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 ऑल वैल्यूज आर वन सो यू कैन सी इट इज रिटर्न वन 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 बट स्टिल वी डोंट नो द लास्ट बिट सो वी हैव टू चेक द क्यू एन सो क्यू एन हेयर इज नाउ वी हैव टू चेक चेक हेयर सॉरी ए एन आफ्टर परफॉर्मिंग माइनस ऑपरेशन वी हैव टू चेक द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एन सो हेयर नाउ वी हैव टू चेक द फर्स्ट बिट ऑफ द ए एन सो द फर्स्ट बिट ऑफ द ए एन वी हैव टू चेक एंड दैट कम्स आउट टू बी यू कैन सी द लास्ट इन ए एन द फर्स्ट बिट is 1 so 1 means we have to assign qn as 0 so we have assigned qn the value of qn as 0 in this step so you can see here this is n is 0 and again we store the a so wherever we have shifted at a we have to just copy that so the same value has been copied here okay this value has been copied and we have assigned qn as 0 so Again, restore operation has been performed. Now we have to reduce the number of bits. So from two, it has come out to be two. So three minus two is two. Now again, this value is not zero. So we have to perform the same operation again by shifting. So in this step, we have to shift one bit one again. So by shifting one bit, last bit is discarded, and this shifting has been performed. Again, we have to go for last bit. Then last bit is. we don't know so we have to check so this is the shifting operation has been performed now a minus m operation has to be performed so the a is here 00101 a is 00 you can see here a is 00101 and now minus m is 11101 so this is 11101 so if we add it you can see here 1 Zero 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 one zero. But since it has comes out to be more than five bit, so we discard the last bit. So we just take five bit only. So it gives zero 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 one zero after performing sub a minus m operation. Okay. So it will gives as it is copy that and then last bit. This bit is checked by the first bit. Okay. First bit of a n. So a n is you can see here a n is zero here. So zero means assigning q zero to one. So we have assigned q zero to one in the next step here, and reduce the number of bit. So reduce the number of bits to one. So again we have to perform since it is not zero, n is not zero. So we again we have to perform shift operation. So again shifting the bits. So we can see here we have shifted bits left by one bit, and again we have to see what is the last bit. so shift left operation has been performed again subtraction operation have been, has been performed subtraction means 00101 minus m so 100101 minus m value is 11101 so 11101 so performing a minus m operation means adding a plus of minus m so we can see here again carry has come out so we can discard this carry and this value is uh, 00010 so we can see here we have written 00010 and last bit we have to check depending upon the value in register an so an is 0 so for 0 we have to assign q0 as 1 and reduce the n so we have assigned 0 as 1 here and reduce the value of n that comes out to be 0 after this since n is equals to 0 it will check and we know that after the value of n has become 0 the question will be in q and the remainder will be in a and after that the operation is will be stop so we can see the remainder will be this and question will be this in register q so if we convert this into a decimal number 10 is comes out to be 2 and 11 is 3 so this way you can perform the division operation
you can see r2 is the remainder you can see here 2 is the remainder comes out to be in register accumulator and 3 is the value that is the question comes out to be in this question so this is how the division operation can be performed using unsigned integer and restoring algorithm so thank you for watching if you have any doubt you can just comment it